All right, so now we're gonna solve this structure. First thing we do is we count how many carbons again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine carbons means you're gonna designate the first part of the name N-O-N. We know that there's single bonds between all the carbons in that chain, so it's gonna be an alkane structure. So nonane is gonna be the last part of the name. Let me write it prettier for you guys. Okay, now, next thing we wanna do is we wanna figure out how to number this. So in alphabetical order, we're gonna look at the functional groups. We have an ethyl group here, a CH3, CH2 bonded to a CH3. And then we have here a isopropyl group. So that's gonna be a CH bonded to two CH3s. Isopropyl and ethyl, E, comes before I. Okay, so you wanna start numbering them where the first functional group you see is going to have that first lowest number. So instead of coming here, one, two, three, four, five, even though this ethyl group comes first in the naming, it's on the fifth carbon, but this propyl group over here is one, two, three, four on the fourth carbon. So you always want to start essentially, um, so, so you know now essentially that you will start counting from left to right because the first functional group, whether it's before in the alphabet or after, is going to be at a lower number, number four, than the first uh, functional group coming from the right, which would be at carbon five. So here's how we're going to do that. So we know one, two, three, four, this propyl, isopropyl group. So this is an isopropyl group. That isopropyl group is on carbon four. Four isopropyl. And then this ethyl group, one, two, three, four, five, is on the fifth carbon. Five ethyl. Okay? And so the name now goes in alphabetical order. E comes before I. Five ethyl four. Isopropyl nonane. And so that last part, nonane, goes at the end of isopropyl. Um, and again, that's just because that's how it is in alphabetical in alphabetical order. E F G I J, K, L, M, N. So that's how you do that. So remember, we chose the reason why isopropyl is on, is on four um, instead of one, two, three, four, five, six is just because we're looking at when you're going to number them, put that number of what carbon they're at, they're at first, you want to start with the lowest number possible from either the left or the right. So if we went from the right, it would have been one, two, three, four, fifth, five, where you see the first functional group. But if you went from left to right, you would have gone one, two, three, four. So it would have been on the fourth. So that's why you designated four instead of six. Um, and same thing here. You designate, even though one, two, three, four, five, even though this ethyl group is on the fifth, no matter what, um, you, like I said, you want to designate the first functional group you see uh, with the lowest number from either the right to the left, wh wh whatever will give you a lower number to find that first functional group. And then when you go to naming it, that's when you go to alphabetizing and, and you're gonna, you're gonna essentially structure it like that. Um, so even though four comes before five, ethyl comes before isopropyl because it's before in the alphabet. So hope that helped out.